This is Jeff from CartSmarter.com. Welcome to another video tutorial on AIM Race Studio. Today's video is going to be on the GPS lap insert function and what you can use it for. Um, I'm sure we've all been in the situation, maybe the first or second session of the day um, at the track. You come off the track, you look down at your logger, and uh, instead of having a bunch of different lap times with your best time showing, You've got one giant single lap, 9, 10, 11 minutes, whatever it is. Um, we can fix that after the fact in Aim Race Studio, and you will be able to retrieve from that individual lap times for every single lap you did in that session. So once you get that particular session uh, downloaded off your data logger and loaded up into Race Studio 2, um, I've got one such session right here from New Jersey this summer uh, with the F-Series Gear Up Challenge. Um, first day or first session of the day. Um, yes, I forgot to load in the start finish line. So we got one giant 10 minute, 38 second long lap. So go ahead and double click on that particular session to load it up. And what you're going to need to do is go into the lap manager. So I have one happens to be already included in this user profile that I have, um, but go ahead and click on it and then you can maximize it so we can take a look at it. Inside the lap manager window, all the way on the very right hand side is the GPS lap insert button. Um, so we're going to go ahead and click that and it launches this window here where we have the uh, shape of the track visible on the right hand side and we have a couple different options on the left hand side. Now if we just need to go quick and dirty to get some lap times out of this session, you can select set start finish with the cursor position. Place the cursor on the track in the vicinity of the start finish line and click continue. Um, and that will get you lap times for each time that you cross that particular point on the map. Um, the other good option to use, and in my opinion, a better option, if you've already been to that track and you have data on your computer from the track, is to set it by reference, referencing a previous test. When you click that, as you can see, you'll get a window that pops up where you will be able to set the previous test, which AIM will draw the uh, start finish line coordinates from. So let me just scroll up here and find these real quick. Here we go, New Jersey, and we'll go uh, Saturday, the first test session. So once you've selected the test that you wanna draw the start finish line coordinates from, you hit confirm selection and then continue. And it's going to pop up a list of all of the lap times that you ran from that particular session. So if you're satisfied with that, hit confirm, otherwise hit cancel. All right, so as you see, we've got a prompt says lap time um, successfully calculated. And now instead of one giant lap, we actually have individual lap times presented here to us. Now, the other section of this video uh, pertains to using the GPS lap insert function to do a uh, direct comparison of two drivers driving on the same track. Um, oftentimes, you know, if you've got a, a teammate or uh, a competitor who will share data with you, one of the first things you need to do is make sure that you guys are both using uh, the same point on the track as a start finish line so you can start doing a direct comparison. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, two sessions, uh, one by me and one by my brother from the uh, gear up race this past summer at pit race. Da, 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 da. So I got one from me and one from Stefan. All right, so we got two, uh, two different sessions enabled. And once again, I'm looking at these right now in the uh, laps manager. Just go down to the bottom, click the laps manager tab. Um, so in order to make sure that we're both uh, working with the same start finish line, we're going to use the GPS lap insert button again. And I click that from within my um, particular session. So I'm going to use the uh, session that Stefan uh, made, which is number three. Where are we? Nope, not that one. It is not that one either. Where are we? There we go. All right, so now that we've um, selected the correct session, I'm gonna go ahead, ahead and hit confirm selection. Um, you see that we have uh, the test up here selected as our start finish. We're gonna hit okay. It recalculates the uh, lap times based on the new start finish line. 
And now we can go ahead and start making a uh, direct comparison um, based off this data. So before you get into comparing data from another driver, competitor, teammate, whatever, make sure you go ahead and make sure the start finish line that you guys are both using on each data set is the same. All right, guys, time for the plugs. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of our future videos. Also, don't forget to check out our web store, cartsmarter.com slash store, where you'll find a full line of AIM karting loggers, accessories, and sensors. As always, we appreciate your business. See you next time.